Good afternoon, this is Robin Bremer, and today I want to share with you about heaven. And uh, heaven is something that's really valuable to me, the study of heaven, because the Bible says, Matthew says, uh, to pray the Lord's Prayer, uh, he said in the Lord's Prayer, Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And how do you know what God's will is on earth as it is in heaven if you don't know what heaven is like? So God revealed heaven when he sent Jesus. Jesus went around healing everybody that was oppressed of the devil. And so you see that health is in heaven. And Jesus went around delivering people who were oppressed. So uh, there's peace in heaven. The word of God says that the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. So there's no sin in heaven, there's no guilt consciousness, there's no uh, inferiority, like I'm not good enough uh, to be in heaven. There is peace and joy in heaven. And so the Bible gives us some understanding of that. Also, uh, in heaven are angels, cherubims, uh, cherubims, seraphims, and the heavenly host, which are the warring angels. And so, so you can see that uh, those things are in heaven. So another thing is, earth is created in the copy. We're created in the image of God, and earth is created in the image of heaven. And we were created to live in the glory, just like God lives in the glory. So we can, um, so we can expect that the same atmosphere God lives in is the atmosphere He wants us to live in, and that is the glory in the kingdom. So that is an exciting study. So God said that His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Well, so we can expect to have interaction with angels, interaction with the supernatural, because we're created in His image and earth is created in earth's image, in heaven's image. And so we can, cre we can expect to be healthy, walk in health, and like Jesus did, heal the sick, cast out demons, cleanse the lepers, and raise the dead. Because those are things that is in heaven, and that Jesus showed us when he was on earth. So those are the kind of things that we can expect to live here. So the Bible says that that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So we can expect heaven to invade earth. We can expect to have heaven surrounding us on earth. After man fell, all of the authority and dominion God gave us fell with us. So the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom, and the weather all fell with us because when we were, uh, when we were not, um, have not fallen from sin, before Adam and Eve partook of eating the knowledge of good and evil from that tree, uh, God walked with them in the garden. He physically walked with them in the garden. And I assume it was Jesus because Jesus was God in the flesh. So Jesus actually walked with them in the cool of the garden. He had fellowship with them. That He brought animals to them. He named the animals. Uh, he, I mean, he helped Adam, brought the animals to Adam so Adam could name the animals. So he had fellowship with us. And when, when, when we fell, everything that he gave us all authority and dominion, in the book of Genesis, he talks about, he gave us dominion, and he said, subdue everything that's not mine, because the, Satan came to earth, kicked out of heaven, fell on earth, and then God put man on earth, and he wanted us to have authority over the devil, and to take back everything on earth that the devil messed up and had stolen from us. And so, uh, everything that was under our dominion came now under Satan's dominion as the Lord of this earth, reigning in our place. And so he made earth kind of like hell and God wants it to be like heaven and that's just a revelation I just got right there that God was telling me so God wants heaven on earth and he wants the Christians to walk in power authority and dominion and to bring that heaven on earth and so I just want to share with you and get you excited about heaven it's not just a place um, that we go to when we die it's a place that we can uh, create around us through the presence the power and the glory of God so my name is Robin Bremer, robinbremer.net is my website, and I hope you have a blessed day.